I did want to come to you guys since I had a little bit of time and talk about this native deodorant that burned my skin and I'm still trying to get rid of the discoloration. I feel like the discoloration is going to be there for a while. Okay, so like I told you in the initial um, unboxing review, initial review video about this native deodorant that is aluminum and paraben free and I bought the full size original. This has no scent to it. No scent at all. And then I bought the travel size coconut and vanilla and it's super tiny but it smells really good I didn't wipe it off I probably should have wiped it off <laughs> sorry it smells really good okay so price this was 12 I believe and this was like 350 and I had a coupon um, online coupon this didn't keep me dry the scent I feel like I feel like it wasn't working and I gave it a good two weeks like I said that initial video that was like a week behind when I first started to use it and now it's February almost the middle of February so it's been a while since I had started using this I have went back to my original deodorant which is um suave shower fresh shower clean 24 hour whatever it's called um I went back to that because I don't stink on that I don't have any issues with odor I don't have any issues with um wetness the only time I do is stress sweat like if I'm running super late for work or um I'm running late for class and I know I gotta present or whatever I'm just having a stressful week or whatever then I do have stress sweat that's just normal for me but this was not working but this scent did like I could smell this scent it died down because I mean the scent isn't really strong anyway but the scent died down but I did not smell bad do you get what I'm saying like the original as far as keeping me dry as far as freshness um, regarding odor this did not work for me but this one did so it's kind of weird I was expecting this one to like make me a little um, wet because you know the perfume or whatever that's in it I thought this would be my new favorite I had such high hopes for these products and or this product and it just didn't work for me and it burned my skin as an adult I can't be funky and this was not working so this has to go I love the scent of this but I don't know which one burned me it could be both I'll insert a clip or a picture or whatever but I have a thick dark patch of skin that is burned and I'm more than sure it's because of this because I have not done anything else different except switch deodorants and like I said I was wet the scent the odor the body odor wasn't the best it had to be this so and I seen that another lady and she so happened to be an african-american woman she got burned as well using while she was using this product and I don't want to bash the company they have plenty of good videos good reviews or whatever but everything is not going to work for everybody and this just isn't working for me because now i'm left with basically i don't want to say hyperpigmentation but i guess that's what it is under my armpits it's february summer is right around the corner and i'm one of those people i like sleeveless stuff i don't want these black dark armpits that don't match my skin tone you know what i'm saying like i'm already trying to work on my elbows and knees and now i got elbows knees and armpits you know like it's just adding to my list of work on you know issues and this just did not work for me so i like the set the price was good for organic or aluminum free product or whatever but i can't walk around 
wet, funky, and burnt to a crisp under the armpits. It's just, it's not gonna work. So, this has to get X'd out of my life. And I hope some of y'all might have tried it. I know some of y'all are one of those people that watch a review and hear the negative and just flat out won't even try it. But I mean, teach his or her own. I still say go ahead and try it, but I'm still on a search for a aluminum and paraben free deodorant because native did not work for me.